guys? It's your girl, Nika the Bestest, better than the restest, and I'm here with another video. And today's video is actually what it says in the title below. Things girls hate that guys do. So I got my girlfriends here with me and we're going to talk about it. I'm Leah. I'm Taylor. I'm Taylor. I'm Jada. We're here to really get into it. So I got the questions right in my hands. And we're just gonna start with the first one. What do you hate when you're first texting a guy? Like when you're first texting. When they ask for pictures. Inconsistency. When they ask what I'm doing too much. Don't ask me That's what true. are you doing every two minutes because I'm doing the same thing most likely. When I tell them I'm laying down and they say, oh, can I come over and lay down with really? you? Yeah. Like, first of all, I hate part. it when they have me on Instagram and Snapchat and still don't ask for a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> or they start posting you too early. You know that paparazzi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. What is a question that automatically makes them cancel? They ask to come over and it's the first time me texting them and they ask to come over at like 2 a.m. Nope. You're not going to get me, buddy. I hate it when a guy asks me if I like them before they tell me that they like me. Yeah, when it's 3 a.m. and they talk about something gonna come over. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if we just started sexing. Yeah. When they ask you to come over with your friend, like, I don't feel like bringing my friend. How about that? You got a friend? I don't even home. feel like coming over, period. Yeah, because a lot, lot of times, yeah. you'll be having an ugly friend with them. Or Loki, mm -hmm. you be dating an ugly friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the worst. Am I ugly? Like, is he ugly? Like, I'm insecure. No. Like, I mean, I'm I mean, yeah. stop fishing for a compliment. Because <laughs> you, because guys don't like when we do this, so like, that's stupid. Am I ugly? <laughs> what is one Valentine's Day gift that you would hate? Not getting nothing. <laughs> All right, if I get nothing, oh, girl. That's what we I understand, like, if we in college, like, as long as you take me out, I'm cool. Or do something nice. Take me out. But I agree. We in college, so, like, <laughs> we can't afford a whole bunch of stuff. But it's, so, like, a like, thought that counts. Like, if you do a little something, you know. Yeah, just a little don't, something. Don't text me. I would have to say not day. getting anything would be the worst yeah. gift ever. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if I got you something, I'm going to be like. But, like, an <laughs> actual gift? I don't know. Like, you I'm have. Y'all got to really think about it. Like, think about it. I know. I ain't picky either. I haven't really got. Horrible Valentine. Yeah, yeah. I've never got a bad one. Like, I never yeah. got. Well, my parents give me bad gifts, but <laughs> like, I even like chocolate. <clears throat> what is something a guy does during the argument that you hate? Just sit there and look at me. Right. Are um, you back? Say it with your chest. Um, boy, I'll tell you. I have like a whole this. list of things because I used to date a narcissist. So, um, all right. I hate when a guy like <laughs> I don't argue. But I hate it when like he keeps going with it. Jada be like, you can get out, or you can leave, you can right. leave. When I'm texting and I'm arguing with you and they give one word responses, like, I'm serious? like, boy, did you not see this novel right. I just typed to you? Oh. And you won't respond, okay? All right, when I see oh. you in person, just no. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing that a guy does during a date that turns you off? Um, when the waiter come by and they say, together and separate, and they say separate. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but no, I think the biggest thing that turns me off on the date is when a guy, like, has no good manners. Like, he eats nasty, he smacks. Like, mm -hmm. just the way he eats is disgusting um, to me. I it depends what we eat, because we had a seafood place back then. Well, that's different, but if you don't yeah, know how to eat your silverware, then I, like... Um, if you don't hold doors, um, mm -hmm. I don't really trip too much about like opening up my door to get my. I really like. I don't really care. But, the but if you do, that's touch. bonus points. Summary yeah. needs to still yeah. be intact. Mm -hmm. um, conversation is boring too. Like yeah. I can't. Or be no. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm a messy eater, but. If he like, y'all really hate boogers. I'm not even gonna lie. He got a like. I remember I was talking to this one dude. I stopped talking to him because he had a booger in his nose, and I was afraid to tell him. So I just kept <laughs> him. That's what it no more. What's the worst lie a guy has ever told you? Ooh, I didn't sleep with her. <laughs> I was chilling with the bros. Yeah, yeah. Just typical. What are hairstyles that you like? Or hate on a guy. Boys be doing that little twist up. They don't be dressed. 
they just be twisting their hair. Like, that is so dirty to me. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You, you actually, actually like, see the scalp? Though? No, it's like them. when boys be wanting to have dreads, but then they don't know what they want to do, so they oh, be playing okay. with their hair. I'm bummed. Yeah, so I don't want to do it with longer hair than me. Yeah. Um, way dreads are nice. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dreads are If you take care of your dreads. If you take care of your dreads. I don't do dreads. I like the little tape, but I like the little, like, I don't know. I like my dude to have hair. Like, I like, like, it's cool having, like, you know, the little shave cut on the side with the curly hair. Like, people mm -hmm. trying to, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Waves so are my thing, too. Yes, I, I live for the waves. waves. And, you know, I'm the do-rag plug, too, so, okay. man, with waves. Like, yes. <laughs> what are the first things you notice when a guy approaches? Teeth. Shoes. 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 Yeah, because yeah. okay. if you wearing some flights, hair. Yeah, so. his hair, his honestly, yeah. if you look at their shoes, you it they depends on how they take care of their shoes. If they shoes is dirty, they gonna treat you dirty. That's true. No, if um, they shoes is dirty, they dirty. They gonna treat you dirty too. I look at their hair and like their tone of voice because I like a guy with a deep voice. <laughs> their breath. Their breath. <laughs> yeah, their breath. <laughs> their breath. Don't approach lips. me with no baby voice. Don't do that. Are your lips crusty? Pink lips. lips. I need some pink lips. Need oh some yeah. Mm -hmm. Next one. What's the sexiest attribution uh, attribute on a guy? I like want to be goofy. They can be goofy with me, get all my little weird jokes. I like to be weird. I like ones for me that's able like if I can take my wig off around you. Cool. I like that, and I like a person who who don't run their mouth. Like, what's y'all business is y'all business. I'm a private person. If I'm telling you gossip, secretive, you better I'm keep private. that gossip. Right. Yes. It's a difference. You yeah. gonna be a walking teapot. Shoot. Oh, yeah. I kind of. I kind of like big body wash football too. players. Mm. I like love the football players. Like the um, the linebackers. Yeah, the one that you yeah. like. Locking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to you. <laughs> what are clothes that you love or hate seeing on a guy? I True love the Chelsea boots. I'm about to say the same thing. I love Chelsea oh, boots. Chelsea. If you got a pair of Chelsea boots, call oh, me. I like my dudes to wear. I'm cool with Jordans because I wear Jordans. Um, they gotta be new Jordans. Don't come in your shoe game. Got your shoe game got be, your shoe game gotta match mine. It ain't gotta be like up to par with mine, but at least you know we gotta be close. Um, the style just gotta flow. Yeah, I don't care about the brand. I like Nike. I mean, I like anything. Like I love sportswear. Like sportswear nice. always look good. Like yeah. me, I you know I dress down up. a lot, but mm -hmm. I dress up too. And you gotta do, you gotta dress up too. So when I dress up, yeah. you dress up. Put them yeah. Chelsea boots on, boy. <laughs> I like men that dress up. That's very attractive. When you first go to a guy's room, what's some things you notice that makes you feel away? How clean they are. Yeah. If your room is dirty and I walk in, I'm walking right back out. <laughs> it was nice, homie. If it's, <laughs> it's, if it's not like a locker room in there, I'm really crazy. I don't meet a lot of guys with dirty rooms. I swear guys be having like three outfits, two pairs of shoes, what one blanket, what one pillow, and that's barely, it. Barely that's anything the in their closet, right? I'd be like, how do you survive on like three things? But... Mm, Nelly, they did it all room. semester. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they, bathroom, and they got AIM. I don't want to walk in no pee. And they ain't got no toilet paper. Married, that's awkward when you go in there and pee. You should be in there like, uh, uh, I need toilet paper. Uh, I have to ask uh, first. Is there toilet paper in there? Like napkins? Yeah. <laughs> what are personality traits that you hate in a guy? I want to run their mouth. And I hate, I hate, I hate. I hate the type of person. I hate the type of person that got to talk to everybody before they talk to me. Like, if we can't work it oh, out. Yeah. Like, if we just can't work it out, then hey. Libra men, you're <laughs> out the question. I hate so guys that want to leave their options open, but don't want you to leave their <laughs> options open. Yeah. I hate those dudes that stick it. by that talking mentality. Like how you kind of just said, they mm -hmm. run me down, so, but they don't want you to do it. Like, yeah. Yeah. That irritates me. Yeah. yeah. I ain't talking That's to you for no year. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. That's dead. Because I'm my window. What's a comment a guy has made about your makeup that irritated you? Why you don't wear makeup? Why your eyebrows crooked? <laughs> <laughs> Why your eyebrows fake? Go erase that mess. Um, oh, I, I was eating crawfish one time for Valentine's Day day, and I had on maroon lipstick, like a maroonish red lipstick, mm -hmm. and of course, you know, the crawfish juice is everywhere. I had lipstick all on my chin, and they didn't tell me until we... Ex told me that I needed to... Get a new foundation because it made my forehead look dark or some bullcrap like that. Mm -hmm. I had somebody tell me I had like patches 
in my um, makeup. Mm -hmm. like, your forehead looks dark. You need a new color. <laughs> my lash was coming off one time, and my dude pulled it off. <laughs> well, it was coming off. Well, anyway. Rather they do, rather they not just uh, talk to you with it hanging. So I'm gonna say, I, I just want to just take it off. What's his name? Bb. Uh, don't say what's his name. This boy be adjusting my wig in public. He be like, <laughs> I'm like, thank you. But why you gotta do it in the right. middle of everybody? Yeah. <laughs> You could at least step aside. You could like, be like, yo, babe, come over here. <laughs> that actually brings us to our next question. What's a comment a guy made about your hair that pissed you off? Why you ain't got none? What's up with your closure? <laughs> <laughs> My closure, right. I was like, what, what do you know about a closure? Uh-uh. Who you been around? Where your edges? You have dots <laughs> in your <laughs> head. <laughs> you have dots in your head. <laughs> My Taylor. The, the one question I hate the most, I cut my hair. I did the big shot back in May. Mm -hmm. And, like, why I hate getting asked, hair? why did I do it? Yeah. Like, especially, like, if a guy that tries like, to talk mind to you, your business. Well, you cut your hair. Get out of my business. Or they mind ask, do you business. wear your hair? And if I do and if I don't, right? what's up? When I showed, Dang, like, my, when good. I wear my real hair and, like, I told him, like, this is my natural hair color. And then they'd be like, so did you dye it? No, my hair is just brown. Like, yeah. I hear it. I said that. Asking too much questions. Oh, oh, oh. This one guy told me that if my wig, like, if he pulled my wig off one time, he was going to put it on. <laughs> Hairy or bald guy. Blind. And it's like it's hair, hair, like, everywhere. Would you accept the hair, the hairy guy? I hate body hair. Or... Just I've been with the guy that had full body hair like a werewolf. I hated it. <laughs> I hated it so much. I feel like you, if you got like mild hair, that's okay. Because I mean, my arm is hair. I can't be like, you can't have no hair. Because I got arm hair. I don't, I don't have body hair. I'm bald. So. Are you, are you really? Yeah. In Compared to yeah. your first heartbreak and now, what have you learned? The first. Uh, mine would have to be is not to fall in love so fast. Sometimes with me, it'll take the little things that you do to really make me fall for you before I can even really see your true colors. So because I'm already so head over heels for a person, it don't matter what they do, I'm gonna instantly come right back to you. Just because I like you that much or I love you that much. I just gotta learn to sometimes wait before I just jump straight into something. I have to say one thing is make sure before like you get in a relationship, make sure y'all friends first. Cause like the relationship kind of means more, like you're more willing to save the relationship versus somebody you just up and just date. Like if y'all didn't build like a friendship, it's a lot more on the line versus just y'all in a relationship. I say really like pay attention to how they act, how they treat others. Mm -hmm. Like just really pay attention to make sure you know who you're dating or who you're mm -hmm. in a relationship with because they can be nice to everybody else and then like you get in a relationship with them like they do a whole 360. So you just really have to pay attention to people. I learned to love myself first before giving anybody else the extra mile and doing the most for somebody else. And because I've actually been single for so long, I feel like I've definitely learned to love myself. So just want to love yourself before you get into a relationship, which I am in one now. So shout out. Of course. So yeah, I, feel, I feel like you should focus on yourself before you start anything. Like, um, cause, yeah. Cause you don't, I knew she was going to say yeah. I should say yeah. Cause you don't want a guy to come and like just change your everything if you like didn't even have a plan in the first place. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to up and move your life to someone else. They don't even like you like that. Don't make him the center of your world. You yeah. need to be the center of your world first. If you don't stand for something, you won't fall for anything. Oh, so, okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Well, I'll see you in the next one.